Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you are all having a really wonderful evening thus far. And so in this video, I will be taking you guys uh, into the latest in terms of Tropical Storm Brett, which is a weakening cyclone. It will continue to weaken and it should dissipate uh, very soon. And then I uh, will also be looking at Cindy and what is happening overall across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so we're starting out with the Western Caribbean and we can see that area of deep convection, that blob that is developing this evening. Now that is well to the west of Jamaica and we would absolutely love if it was much closer and inducing a lot more activity uh, in the vicinity of the island because it has definitely uh, been a very hot day though overcast, but uh, we would really love some rainfall. Unfortunately, much is not likely as we're going to be progressing throughout the rest of today. Some areas might experience some showers and even some thunderstorm activity but as for a major rainfall increase that isn't something on the horizon right now looking over into central america some areas likely experiencing uh, some showers and thunderstorms and even a lot of overcast conditions as well and it is a similar story for sections of cuba going to florida the bahamas the cayman islands and even over into sections of hispaniola as we now head out toward the uh, eastern caribbean we can definitely see here that there is of uh, quite a bit of activity in association with Brett. So uh, the cyclone is not looking too good. It is rather disheveled right now. And as that uh, shower and thunderstorm activity attempts to develop uh, in the vicinity of the center, near the center of it, the wind shear is just going to displace it toward the east. And uh, that is why we're seeing so much activity extended into parts of the Lesser Antilles. And let me know in the comments what conditions are like for you. And then uh, for the vicinity of Puerto Rico, we can see that there has been the development of some showers and thunderstorms across some areas. And then, uh, my apologies, Aruba is cut off right here, but nothing much is happening in the vicinity of the ABC Islands. But hopefully, as Brett is going to be passing by, it is going to be inducing some shower activity because uh, there hasn't been much rainfall in the area. And I have been seeing the comments from you guys uh, explaining just how dry and how hot it has been for the past couple of months. No real major rainfall increase. So hopefully, Brett can make its way by close enough with enough activity to kind of offset uh, some of those conditions even for a short period of time. And so we're going to be taking a look at the latest cone forecast but firstly we want to go to northern South America and sections of uh, the southern Central American territory. So for Panama and uh, Costa Rica we can see that there's a lot of activity right now. Uh, some of that convection in the vicinity of Panama is in association with that tropical wave extended from Jamaica southward. So this is where the activity is. And then over into Colombia, going to Venezuela, Guyana, and parts of Suriname and French Guinea. There is some activity taking place as well, likely some uh, heavy rainfall at times. So guys, please stay safe uh, when it comes on to these major rainfall uh, events. And so we're taking a look at the cone forecast of Brett now. So Brett is weakening and of course that was expected. The wind shear is just too strong to uh, allow for any intensification of the system. So the maximum sustained winds are are 50 miles per hour and uh, it is accelerating westward at 21 miles per hour so it's going to be on this weakening trend as we head into the end of this week heading into tomorrow and also going into sunday where it should be downgraded to a depression and eventually dissipate and then as for cindy uh it is not looking too good on satellite here we have it uh, here we have the cyclone it's not looking too good likely as a result of some dry air intrusion and uh hence it hasn't intensified since the previous uh advisory it is holding at 50 miles per hour and is moving to the west northwest at 16 miles per hour and so now we want to go ahead and take a look at the latest that the models are showing we'll be taking a look at the intensity and track guidance for both cyclones as well as uh conditions uh that are out there for both and we're starting off with brett now in terms of the model track guidance the available models are all agreeing on that continuous westward track but as brett is going to be approaching or the remnants so at that time uh we'll be approaching central america we kind of see these spreading out not too certain where they're going to go will they continue westward and eventually 
eventually uh, end up in the Eastern Pacific? Will they start to move on a northwestward track heading into Belize and uh, the Yucatan? Uh, there is some uncertainty with that. Going on to the intensity guidance, uh, most of the available models also agree that this is just going to continue weakening. But take a look at this. Quite a number of them are showing that we might be seeing some re-intensification. So could it be in the Western Caribbean? Could it be over in the Eastern Pacific? Only time will tell. Going on to Cindy now. So in terms of the model track guidance for Cindy, we're seeing that these models are keeping it away from the Caribbean, which is some really good news. Uh, but it would be good if it could be close enough in proximity to induce a bit of rainfall, especially across the Northeast Islands, because it has been pretty dry there. So uh, that would be good. But uh, the models are keeping this well uh, offshore of the Caribbean islands, and they're in pretty much of a good agreement. There is more uncertainty as we head further out in the future, which is expected. So uh, going on to the intensity guidance, though, we can see that most are uh, all these models, none of these are showing that this will intensify into a hurricane. And we even see that dip in intensity, uh, likely as a result of the wind shear that it will encounter as it makes its way to the northwest. So let's wait and see what's going to be happening. Now, in terms of conditions, let's go on to the sea surface temperature map. And so here we have it, and we can see that it is pretty warm across the Caribbean and other surrounding areas. Very warm over in the Eastern Pacific. As a matter of fact, there's a disturbance over there. So we'll talk about that in future updates. But uh, looking into the Caribbean, very warm waters to support development. And if we're seeing this kind of activity now with Brad and Cindy, both being uh, main development region storms in the month of June, uh, that alone is record breaking. And especially in an El Nino season, uh, this could be pointing to some bad signs for the future because we could see something crazy as we head into the heart of the hurricane season. Going on to the Saharan dust map where we see more of those oranges and reds, that is where we have more abundant plumes of dry air. And so uh, we can see that some of that is uh, likely infiltrating Cindy, uh, resulting in its uh, very ragged appearance right now. It is not looking too good. So probably as a result of that dry air because the wind shear isn't really uh, fully affecting the system right now. As for Brett, there is a bit of dry air uh, noted within the region as well. So that is also helping to suppress convective activity coupled with the wind shear that is displacing it and preventing those thunderstorms from intensifying. So uh, lots of dry air out there, especially off the coast of Africa. And finally, looking at the wind shear map. Now, when we have more of these uh Red lines that is indicating those stronger upper level winds. That's what really helped to prevent major intensification. The yellow indicates that the shear is neutral, uh, not going to be too intense, but still impacts the system. And then in the green areas is where our tropical cyclones typically thrive because the wind shear is not going to be a problem. And then in the vicinity of uh, Cindy, as I said, the wind shear is not really taking a toll, so it's likely that dry air intrusion disrupting the system but as for Brett that stronger wind shear up ahead for it so very minimal chance of any intensification so that is pretty much unlikely right now and so guys that is what is happening right now across the uh, tropics that's the latest on these systems and of course I will continue to keep you posted on all that is happening so stay tuned for my update video tomorrow and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments I will respond as best and as soon as I can and remember to always be weatherwise.